what I am impressed about the Church of Scientology and their drug-free program is that they don't focus on one denomination or one faith group. They're reaching out to all people and they're reaching out worldwide, not just state or local, local or state or national, but international. And I think that's the, that's the key today is that we have to focus on an international program that can help all people. Drugs are just not centered around certain countries or, or certain types of lifestyles. It's rampant. You have drug trafficking all over, and the only way you can counteract that is to have a campaign, an anti-drug campaign. And I've never seen any kind of campaign of this magnitude to address that issue. The Church of Scientology seems to have said that we're going to approach this in a systematic way, we're going to approach it in a comprehensive way, we're going to do it in a national way, in a worldwide way. There's a lot of places to talk about being drug free, uh, but the only program that I see that's consistent out there and that's saying over and over again is the Church of Scientology. I have worked with youth and young adults of all ages for over, I would say, 27 years. And in my 27 years of, of working with youth and young adults, I haven't seen anything like it. The most valuable part that the, I see the Church of Scientology uh, working with the drug problem is, besides their own efforts, is they're reaching out to other organizations that are also working to solve the drug problem and listening to them and helping them succeed in their efforts. It's reaching out to the entire community. It's reaching out to the political people. It's reaching out to the faith-based people. It's reaching out to the parents. And more importantly, it's reaching out to the youth. They can carry it into their school. They can carry it out of the playground. They can carry it into their community. They can go talk to their parents about it, yet they can talk to their peers about it. It's something that is all driving force, full of positive energy. When I see how it has impacted families, when you go and you see a young kid smiling and excited that I got it. I'm not gonna take drugs. Um, it's forever. They were so shocked to see what it's doing to their bodies and their minds that they chose to pledge drug free. And since that day, they have not touched a joint, drink. They don't hang out in the streets anymore. They're in school, bringing home the grades. Governments can talk, but the Church of Scientology is out there, foot soldiers of the world, and they're saying to the people of the world, particularly the young people of the world, say no to drugs. It's high profile, it's right out there, it's in your face, and it's where it's happening. It's at the cold face of uh, society on the streets where the drugs are being sold. And it's also backed up with the information on booklets. These books, I can say that they are very informative and uh, they are going uh, very deep inside the head of people. They're telling what's heaven inside when you are using drugs. You can take it in, you can absorb it, and you can come you can come back with that stuff yourself. You come up with some of those facts and you think, oh, I've learned something. And you can really learn from those booklets. Even the printers were asking me uh, where these booklets were being distributed, could they have some? And I realized it had quite an impact on not only uh, the printers being fathers and mothers, uh, that they could actually take it into their schools. I didn't see any organization, including the state uh, was doing the job, but the Scientologists were working on the ground to save people and youth from drugs. I see the result. The results are well registered and it cannot be compared to the other campaign organized by the other organizations since the results are more practical and more effective. The campaign of Scientology represents a keystone for the construction of a fence against death and drug culture and represents also an important step for life culture. The Church of Scientology and the Drug Free Campaign have such important purposes that we could not build a future without them. What I promised several years ago when I joined as a supporter of the Drug Free Marathon is that I will support this program because it is very useful and very valuable, not only useful but very valuable. The work the Drug Free Ambassadors does is so important because these, these people are going to be tomorrow's Australia, tomorrow's leaders. The learning thing for the, for the youth and at the same time for parents because parents don't know what effects they're doing to the children. So for me, my involvement is personal and at the same time I will move, I will do anything to get this information out there. I believe these programs should be into our curriculum and our school education curriculum. Definitely on our MANI program. All training programs in this country. We, I am the rate 
of people coming off the drugs is about 80 percent. You see, just because of information, you see, you get you get the ripple effect. When there is fire, people think 911. So if here anti-drug, they think charge Scientology. I have been working with the anti-drug campaign of Scientology, and we have really changed the way of life of youth and parents. We are creating a drug-free society. The anti-drug campaign of uh, the Church of Scientology, I think it's the best prevention campaign you can find. And you never give up, you keep doing it, and uh, it's, a, it's a focus that, I, that governments have not been able to bring to anti-drug education. You are the trendsetter, and nobody else, not the United States government, not any other government I know of in this world, has made that type of effort, dedication, and invested in the future of our children's health and our young adults and the health of this entire nation, so I thank you.